Hi, this is Eric. I am the Grey Goat. This is my garage called the Grey Goat Garage, and we're powered by OMBWarehouse.com. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to go over setting valve lash um, for the non-hemi type engines. This is a Predator 212 non-hemi. Um, this procedure is the same for a Honda GX200 196cc clone. Um, or anything with the with a steel type valve cover as the rocker arms are a little bit different on these engines and I, I Know that you guys are going to question some of the stuff that I'm doing here, but pay attention follow along and um, Don't go get your neighbors and um, say what's this crazy guy doing? Okay, so I'm gonna adjust the valve lash the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the recoil and I this, this will You'll understand why I'm doing this in a little bit here. And like I've told you in the past, I only use power tools when disassembling and I don't use those for reassembly. So after I have the recoil off, I'm going to pull the spark plug out. already loose okay so once spark plugs out set that aside and then we'll take off the valve cover and we'll set the valve cover aside Okay, put this out of the way. So now what I can do is I can take the cup for the starter recoil and I can spin the engine over. This is going to help me get everything set. So what I'm gonna do is put my thumb over the spark plug hole, turn the, the flywheel, the starter cup, until I can feel the pressure of the piston coming up in the bore forcing my thumb off the hole and I'm going to look to get that piston right at top dead center. So what that tells me is that's when the spark plug's firing on the compression stroke with the air fuel mixture in the engine and both rocker arms are loose. Okay, so with rocker arms loose, we're just going to bust open the adjuster nuts. You may have to hold the adjuster itself. and loosen it up. Okay, so now let's take a closer look at what's going on here. Factory valve lash is set very loose, but we have to keep in mind that there's a decompressor lever on the camshaft that's going to burp the exhaust valve as you're pulling the engine over. Centrifugal force swings that out of the way once the engine is started. So that makes it easier to start. So nine times out of 10, when I have somebody that, that, that calls me um, or emails me at help at ombwarehouse.com and says, hey, I can't hardly pull my engine over. I'll say, set your valve lash. And they're like, well, I just did. Okay, well, set it again. So valve lash is important. If you don't have it set correctly, especially on the exhaust side, at that point, you're gonna have an engine that's very hard to pull over and it's not gonna run right. We're gonna set these tighter than what the factory wants. Um, most Dyno Cams products recommends .003, but I know a lot of the hardcore racers will set their lash at zero lash, meaning no lash whatsoever. We know these engines expand once they get hot and that's gonna loosen up those tolerances and loosen up your lash. So. What I'm gonna do with, with the non-hemi type engines, I'm gonna start at 0 .003, not 0 .030, three thousandths, 0 .003. So I'm just gonna get my feeler gauge down in here between the rocker arm and the top of the valve. Make sure that I can still get that in and out. And then I'm gonna tighten this down. And when I tighten this down, I always expect that lash to get tighter. Okay, 
because even though you you're, were holding the, the the rocker arm pivot, it will tighten up. See, we're we're very very tight now. I can't even I can't even remove that. So I'm gonna take my 14 millimeter wrench, back this nut off just a little bit. Still tight. Still tight, so I have to come back to the adjuster, loosen the adjuster, and now that's running smoothly through there. I'm going to take it just a little bit more, and then I'm going to tighten this back down. It's very snug right now. Now I'm going to take a, a 15 thousandths, 0 0.0015, and I can get that through there easily. Now I'll take a 0 0.002, and that one's snug. So I'm okay with this at 0 0.002. There's nothing wrong with that. But you have to make sure that we're, we're not holding the valve open by having negative lash, and that we're getting anywhere from... 0.015 to 0 0.003. Not going to hurt a thing on these engines to have it a little bit tighter. It's actually going to help it run better and it'll start easier. So we're going to start the intake valve at 0 0.003 and we're still a little bit loose but I know that when I tighten the, the lock nut down that that's going to tighten that lash up. Which it, it did right at 0 0.003. So I'm fine on that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my starter cup, put my thumb over the hole. I'm going to rotate 720 degrees until I feel that piston coming back up to the top, forcing my thumb off the hole, and I'm going to recheck it. As many times as, I, as I've done this, I always come back and recheck it. Because here, I, I may be a, just a, a sniff loose on the intake. So, I'm going to tighten that up a little bit. And now let's see where we're at. Let's try the point zero zero two. Yep, see we're right there, point zero zero two. So now take the adjuster nut, tighten it down, make sure my lock nut is snug on both sides. This engine's never been run, and this gasket may be okay, but there's a different mating surface on the head versus on the inside of the valve cover. If you're going to reuse a gasket, just flip it over and give everything something new to bite with. I would prefer that uh, gaskets are, are swapped out every time, but I, I know that we're not always doing that. So now we can put the valve cover back on. And we'll get this tightened down. And then we're going to get to the recoil. And I'm going to show you a pet peeve of mine that if you come around me with your bike and, and your recoil looks like this, I'm not going to be happy and I'll say something probably. And then you probably not like me. But that's okay. All right. You don't have to torque these down to the moon. It's just not necessary. Okay. Factory recoil was bolted on like this. Well, who pulls that? Who pulls a mini bike from the front? If you're a go-kart guy, yeah, maybe because you can sit in the seat. But for us mini bike guys, just turn your recoil. 
it's easy to do. We'll give you the correct orientation. I, I know your sticker's not in the right spot, but see, I'm always dropping stuff. For recoils, I always get everything started loose. Maybe if I got the right hole, that would help. See, this non-hemi was unexpected to me because they'll give you that extra threaded hole at the top. So now your recoil's in a better position to be able to turn it. No spark plug in, so it pulls easy. Let's get the spark plug. We'll just get this sat down in there just to provide a seal. Engine pulls easy. That's all there is to it. Hi, I'm Eric. I am the Gray Goat. It's my garage. We're powered by OMBWarehouse.com. If you need help with anything like this, send us an email. Help at OMBWarehouse.com. Thank you.